What's going on guys? It's here Eddie. Before I start, make sure to like and subscribe by hitting that subscribe button and also that thumbs up. In this video, I am going to make a cheesecake with pecans. So I'm going to use this ingredients. Actually, I'm going to be making two cheesecakes. I'm going to use this ingredient right here, Philadelphia cheese. It's 80 calories and it's eight ounces. I'm also going to use this sweetened condensed milk. I'm going to use half of this lime. This is for the cheesecake not to break. Well, this prevents the cheesecake top from breaking. So I'm gonna use half of this lime. I'm also going to use one or two eggs for each cheesecake. I might just actually use one. I'll have to see that. I'm also going to use the pecans that are right here. So I'm going to use this pecans to put on the cheesecake. And also in one of the cheesecakes, I am going to use this caramel or actually it's a Mexican caramel called La Lechera. So I'm going to be putting this caramel or dulce right on top of the cheesecake right after a couple of minutes of being done. Just on one, I am going to use this caramel called lechera or dulce de leche. I am going to use this pie crust to do the cheesecake. So I have two of these. The first ingredient that I'm going to use is this Philadelphia cheese. And I'm going to use this spoon right here to, to take it off from the container. See, it's completely sealed. To take the lid off or that seal off, it has this little holder right here. And all I have to do is just pull it back. Just like that. And then, I'm gonna go ahead and take it off. As you can see, it just dropped from the container. The next ingredient that I'm going to pour in this blender is this sweetened milk and it has this little holder right here that I can just pull up make sure I'm gonna make sure not to cut myself and when you use this make sure to open it like backwards like that and not to cut yourself always be careful the next thing I'm gonna pour it right in the blender I'm using the spoon to take all that condensed milk out. You can go ahead and start your oven and put it like on 350. That way it will be warmed up. 
So, I'm gonna show you how to do that. This is the stove right here. Make sure always that there's nothing inside the oven. Make sure it's always clean and clear of any, if you, let's say you have pans or any baking dishes in there, make sure to have everything clear and take everything out. And once you have everything out, then you can go ahead and start your oven. And this is an LG brand. I'm going to go ahead and click right on bake. See the numbers right there and it says 350 degrees. I want to set it up for, let's say around 375. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and click on these numbers. Three, well actually I just have to click it again. Ran out of time, so I'm gonna go ahead and click three, seven, and five. As you can see the numbers change from 350 to 375, and then I'm gonna go ahead and click start. And it went to 100 degrees. So, now it's, Preheating as you can see And if you want to see If you want to turn on the light to see from the inside you just have to click light and the light is on Starting to feel the heat To turn it off make sure you click it again light it's off as you can see, it's dark now. And that's how you turn on the oven on this kind of stove. Now, I think I'm gonna use only one egg. So, I'm gonna go ahead and crack it. Just one egg, just like that. I'm going to use half of this line and I can just squeeze it. Squeeze the line, all the juice in the blender. I am going to blend all the ingredients together. Oh, actually, I didn't put the high. I had it on low, so I had to use the high button. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do it again for the plan. I'm just making sure that all the ingredients are mixed up real good. It doesn't take that long, just a couple of minutes. Here I go again. This is the oven and it's already heated up. I am going to pour the ingredients right on this crust. As you can see, I have to remove this clear plastic out of the way. This foil right here, I have to lift it up. Make sure you don't break the crust. As you can see, it's a little bit already broken. Be careful with that, not to break it. I'm taking off the lid 
from the from the crust. So this is the lid. Don't throw it away because you might use it for later to cover the cheesecake up. You can see, always make sure to leave this foil right on the sides. Make sure to leave it up. That way you don't spill any of the ingredients. But this is the way the crust looks like. There's a little crumb right there, it's okay. It's supposed to be clear, but this is the way it looks. So let's pour the ingredients around this crust. When you put it in the oven, make sure that you always grab it or hold it real tight and not to tilt it or anything like that. Go ahead and make sure that you grab it from the sides or from the bottom like this and go ahead and put it in the oven. Make sure not to burn your hands. Let's go ahead and put both of the cheesecakes right in the oven. That's the way the cheesecakes look like. And I'm just gonna go ahead and check on it because I'm not sure how long it takes to bake. So I'm just gonna continue to check on it. But this is what they look like right after 30 minutes. Now, if you want the cheesecakes to cook a little bit faster, then you will have to, as you can see, the temperature is 375, you can go to 400. But I haven't moved the temperature, it's right on 375. Whenever the cheesecake is ready and you wanna take it out of the oven, always make sure to use one of this to take the the cheesecake out because it's gonna be real hot. I am going to get the rack out a little bit and I'm gonna see if the cheesecakes are ready. Yep. This pecan cheesecake is ready. This one is ready too. If there's a lot of stuff right on the toothpick from the cheesecake, this means that it's not ready. But when there is barely anything, this means it's ready. See? I'm just gonna go ahead and let them cheesecake sit there for a little bit, not too long, to continue baking with the heat. Look how nice this pecan cheesecake looks. And look at this other cheesecake, homemade straight from the oven. Okay, this is the pecan cheesecake. And this is the regular cheesecake. And right on top of this cheesecake, I'm going to use another ingredient 
lechera. It's a it's a caramel candy. And then I'm going to put on top of that caramel candy pecans. And I'm gonna show you that also. But right now the cheesecakes are hot. So I'm just gonna go ahead and let them warm up. Right in the middle it says, believe. And the other pecan cheesecake. This is what the pecan cheesecakes look like. Pecan cheesecake number one and pecan caramel cheesecake number two. Look so delicious. So this is what the cheesecakes look like with the lids on top. Remember the lids from the cheesecakes when I took off the lids? Well, these are the lids from the cheesecakes. And all I had to do was cover them up just like this. And if you want to cover so the lids won't fall. All you have to do is just bend this aluminum foil so the lids won't fall. But this is the way you cover the cheesecakes with the lid. As you can see, little bubbles right on the top of this one because it's still hot. I just covered them up. This is the way it looks with lids. This is the way it looks with lids. Uncover the cheesecake. I just take the lid off. Just like that. And let them cool off. I just wanted to show you that and with, right after it cools down, the cheesecakes with lids and just put them in the refrigerator. So I just wanted to show you how it looked with the covered lids on top. Now that the cheesecakes are cooled off, I'm gonna go ahead and cut a slice of each Cheesecake with pecans. It's good. Go ahead and go ahead and try it. Real good. Delicious. This is just like the regular pecan cheesecake. Mmm. Real good. You want some? Mmm. So good. I'm gonna go ahead and try the other pecan with caramel. This one right here.
have to be moving the camera. This is what the cheesecake with caramel and pecan look like. Tastes good. Tastes real, real good. Hmm. Pecans are real good. Now that the cheesecakes are cooled off, I'm gonna go ahead and cut a slice of each cheesecake with pecans or a slice of this pecan cheesecakes. Tastes good. I'm gonna go ahead and try it. Real good. Delicious. This is just like the regular pecan cheesecake. Mmm. Real good. You want some? Mmm, so good. I'm gonna go ahead and try the other Pecan with caramel. This one right here. Sorry, I have to be moving the camera. Skin. <clears throat> so this is what the caramel pecan. Yeah, this is what the cheesecake with caramel and pecan look like.
Tastes good. Tastes real, real good. Hmm. The cons are real good. <clears throat> well, both of the cheesecakes are real good. Gotta get myself, gotta get myself some water. Yeah, I gotta get myself some water. Water is real good. <clears throat> water is real good. So, it's healthier. So drink water. Well, the cheesecakes are real good. Thumbs up. Now, this is about it. Well, this is it with the cheesecakes. And if you in, if you have any questions, If you have any questions or comments, yes, if you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comment box below and I'll do my best to answer you back. If you enjoyed the video and saw value, make sure to like and subscribe by clicking on that button. Yeah. Make sure to like and subscribe by hitting that thumbs up button. And also make sure to subscribe by hitting that subscribe button. Thank you for watching. And see you in the next video. Yes. Now. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. I gotta get myself some water. Water is real good. So it's healthier so drink water the cheesecakes are real good thumbs up well this is it with the cheesecakes if you have any questions or comments let me know in the comment box below and I'll do my best to answer you back if you enjoyed the video and saw value Make sure 
to like and subscribe by hitting that subscribe button. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.